Uh, I'm uh, Jerry Goldstein, back in 1969. Now, Burton showed up in my office, he, and I said, you know what, I got this band I'm working with, you might really like this group. Eric Burden and more was born. My name is Lonnie Jordan. I am one of the founding members of the band War. We would play places that we shouldn't have been playing. That was a little bit on the rowdy side. We always had to hear our parents tell us, you are going into that dark road, <laughs> you know? Police said, don't sing that song if you're going to sing the lyric. Police and they just as laughing while they bust us, you got to get down. And we did anyway. And he pulled a gun on us. And our bouncer at the time, he had a cane in his hand and he hit the gun out of the guy's hand and said, no, you don't. And we weren't trying to start any rioters or anything. We just uh, speaking the truth. Lee Oscar was a, a, an artist. So Lee did a lot of the creativity of, of, of album covers that we used to have. Papa D was writing a book called Ghetto Man. And then it just it evolved into the world is a ghetto. Uh, we used Long Beach as a center point for the kids that were in the summer that was out of school. They're the reasons why we made our music. Come on, Diablo! The Cisco Kid was the only non-Anglo superhero when these guys were growing up, is what Howard is saying. He grew up idolizing the Cisco Kid. I was going through a bad marriage. Day after day, writing all these sad songs, and the music was my expression. Sadness never left, and so I wrote this other song. But then when I took it in the studio, uh, again, Papa D, he took it up for me, and I, and, I, and I thank him to this very day. That particular song has been played and heard. It's been the soundtrack of people in prison, people going to funerals, gangbangers, women losing their kids. The, all of a sudden, don't let no one get you down. Charles had a low life, you know. And I said, you know, let's write about lowriders. And before you know it, Charles was on the mic singing about lowriders. And it's, by the way, the original version is 40 minutes long. All my friends, That Howard had this riff that he would play backstage. Uh, he had this reggae groove, and I, and I had my piano back there, and I played the reggae groove, and finally we all pitched in and just started singing. Bam! started hearing our music in commercials and, and movies going, you know, up in smoke, you know, and, and gone in 60 seconds and just more and more movies every, every year. We just picked up the pencil and wrote our experience with the people, for the people, by the people. 